Today I want to chat about full potential of a group. To understand the full potential of a group, first of all you need to understand that groups are not machines. Groups are living organisms and as such they are composed from different, different parts that interact one with each other but each part has some freedom or flexibility or autonomy to do stuff and whatever they are doing in parallel might create a lot of unexpected behavior within the system while in a machine you don't have this characteristic machine every part knows exactly what he's doing and is coordinated work with others so that's something that you have to deeply put in your mind because most of the people when they're looking at efficiency of a group they will think okay I have a group of five people uh, the efficiency of each one of them is Z so 5z is going to be the top efficiency of a group wrong so first of all you have to understand that not everyone in a group will have the same role in terms of contribution and in terms of abilities so just a starting point is completely different second a group become very efficient when all the element within the group tie together like molecules all the atoms tie together and we have a very functional molecules same idea as group so when all the elements tie together then a group can reach its full potential and when they are tying together, it means that each one of the elements inside the group will have different roles. All of them will do something for the group, but part of them will do more for the group, and part of them will do more. So part of them will do more for the groups in terms of technical work or achievement, and part of them will do more for the group in terms of creating environment or creating social interaction between the people one way or another eventually when everything gel the group will reach full potential and this full potential is not necessarily 5z this full potential might be 3z or might be 16z it depends how much those elements within the group are tied together and working as a whole the second thing that is more, very important to understand is that the only reason that we are putting people in the group is because something that we call emergent properties. And emergent properties are pretty simple. Those are properties that the group has as a whole, but each and every individual in the group won't have by themselves. Like safety. If you are alone, you don't feel safe, but when you're putting five people together, they start to feel more safety. This is emergent property, for example. And as the group has more and more emergent properties, actually they're going to multiple their ability or their capability to reach top capacity or top performance if there are more and more emergent properties within a group the group won't be 5z the group might be 20 30 or 50 z's because each and every emergent property multiple the group ability to perform as a group but not as individual now both of them, whatever it's emergent property or whatever how the group drive together, depends on the fact that different people in the group will form will perform different roles in different capacity, but when all of those people reach the perfect combination, then you have most of bound relationship between the element and the most of emergent properties coming out of it and the trick is to find out all the time 
is your is a group is a certain group is in their full capacity which means are uh, they are bound together the best that they can and are they are and are they using or performing or acquire all the emergent properties that they can as a group if you feel that something is missing on both of them you should do something to increase it but going to measure a group by the performance of five people duplicated by their capacity guarantee you that you are actually not going to get the full capacity of a group because what you believe that the group can bring is actually 10 times or even more higher if the group started to create emergent properties and started to use them. So that's all. Hope that I managed to help. <laughs> Bye.